What's happening guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing March's PC of the month. Hell yeah. Just in the nick of time too, right before March, April, April rolls around. Uh, we're getting this just in time. So this is going to be a Ryzen build, obviously celebrating the new AMD platform on AM4. And it's essentially going to be a gaming and streaming sort of rig because I think honestly that's what the R7 lineup right now is really excelling in. Uh, not to say it's a slouch in gaming by any means, but I think at the end of the day, if we're going to get the most value for our dollar, might as well be doing some heavily multi-threaded applications for this particular system. So I've got a bunch of parts behind me. Uh, let's 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 talk about them. So comprising the overall backbone of this PC, we've got the Ryzen 7 1700. I went with this over the 1800X because A, it's cheaper, and B, you can overclock it and more or less get the same or similar performance as the 1800X. So uh, that's what we're going with for today. That's going to be on the AB350 Gaming 3 motherboard from Gigabyte. I really wanted to get their Aorus uh, Gaming K7 board because I think it looks super sexy, but it just wasn't on the shelves in time and I was kind of in a hurry. So we're going with this one instead and that's okay even though it's a b350 or a b350 chipset uh, motherboard it's still going to be enough for our needs as you're about to see because we're only using one graphics card here and we don't have a ton of io that we're connecting to the system so b350 is going to be just fine plus it's black and red just like amd colors baby we've also got some ram here this is a ddr4 kit of vengeance led this is not the rgb one that just came out you can check out my video on that if you haven't yet but this is a, a 16 gigabyte kit so two by eight gig sticks uh, this is the red of course the red led it's got the red light bar so it's really the only color that we're concerned with at this moment and I forgot to mention that the speed here is 3,000 megahertz sorry the, the focus I thought I thought this was on autofocus but apparently I have to focus it why isn't it focusing ah whatever you guys get the idea uh, but here's our video card the MSI GTX 1080 gaming Z shout out to Paul for letting me borrow this card actually uh, my uh, GTX 1080 gaming X is the one that I gave away in the Nano S build a few months back. So I don't, I didn't actually have one of these cards with the red shroud, which is exactly what I was looking for for the theme of this PC. Uh, so thank you, Paul, for uh, let me loan uh, for loaning this to me. Uh, this is a very, very fast GPU. Of course, it's not a GTX 1080 Ti or anything, but uh, I didn't want to go two balls to the wall. This is more so about the theme itself and just sort of celebrating the AMD colors and whatnot with Ryzen, uh, even though it should have been orange. It really, Ryzen colors are orange. I know, I know Jay did it. Jay did it better than I did, I know. Uh, but, uh, you know, red red comes uh, pretty close. It's close enough, I guess. So we got the Gaming Z in there, and then we've also got uh, Cooler, which is uh, the NH, or the Noctua NH U12 S SE AM4. This is the special AM4 edition that AMD actually gifted me when I was in San Francisco a few weeks back, and the reason why I don't have the retail packaging is because it wouldn't actually fit in my carry-on, so I had to ditch the packaging and just basically carry this cooler in my backpack, which was kind of awkward. But this is a pretty sweet cooler. I love the black fan. I'm glad it's not brown and ugly like most Noctua fans, and the heatsink's also looking pretty good. Um, I was considering throwing in an H110i in here from Corsair, the liquid cooler. It's a 280 millimeter AIO. However, we're dealing with a 65 watt TDP chip over here. I didn't think a 280 millimeter rad warranted was warranted for this situation. So we're going with an air cooler instead. It does look very nice, by the way. We've also got a power supply, of course, Fractal Design Integra M. This is a 650 watt unit. It is partially modular and it's got uh, some flat black cables, which is going to be nice because I'm not exactly sure how the cable management situation is going to be in today's uh, chassis, which we're going to take a look at in just a sec. 80 plus bronze certification. That's always a good thing. So uh, thank you, uh, Fractal Josh, for, for providing that. We've also got some goodies from cable mod thank you cable mod for hooking us up with some of these really nice extensions uh sleeved extensions as well as a 60 centimeter to 60 centimeter um red led strips that we're going to be putting in here to make it all shine nice and bright guys go ahead and check out links in the description if you want to take a look at any of this stuff for storage we're going with a 250 gig hyperx 3k ssd uh we don't actually have a, a mechanical drive here but let's just assume that one will be added in the near future. Uh, but for now, this is the bare minimum that we need, so that's what we're going with. And then, what was the other thing? Oh yeah, the case. The case is probably the most interesting, one of the most interesting, of course, besides the Ryzen chip, of course, uh, is one of the most interesting things about this PC, because I've never heard of this manufacturer before. They are called MeanIT, or Mean IT. I honestly have no idea which it is, but uh, I found this on Newegg as a new arrival, and it's the 5 p.m. I'm guessing that's the... The, the name of the case and not the time that this 
product was boxed or something. I, I have no idea. It's very strange. It's probably like some Chinese manufacturer that's new to America or whatever, trying to make a breakthrough in the chassis industry and the chassis market. But um, I thought it was a really cool looking case. Very minimalistic. It's got tempered glass. It comes with three, I believe three or four LED fans that are red and they look pretty wicked. So hopefully there's no surprises with this chassis. It was fairly affordable too, which makes me a little nervous. And there was not a single review that I could find of this case online. So uh, I don't know, maybe, I'll, maybe I'm like one of the first YouTubers to actually build in this chassis. It's kind of, kind of exciting. I, I, for, for once, I have no idea what to expect. With a, with a case, so this, this should be fun. Uh, but I think on that note, guys, those are pretty much all the parts, so why don't we go ahead and kick it off with a quick little time lapse and put this rig together. All right, so here's the build. Pretty sexy, if I do say so myself. Yes, everything went more or less smooth. Uh, one thing that is not smooth is the edges of this dust filter here. They are razor sharp, so um, that's just a sign of manufacturers trying to cut corners, trying to get the highest margins on their cases. You can really see where they uh, are slacking off in some areas with the build quality here. But for the most part, uh, this is very similar to, there's another type of case that I've seen recently that uh, I'll pop up in text right here because I can't think of the name, but this seems very similar uh, to that one. Um, now that I've built in it, it's probably the same OEM, something like that. But overall, not too bad. It's uh, it's a little bit bare inside. It looks like there's, since there's no like sort of drive cage up here or anything in the top right corner, it just looks a little empty. But uh, for the most part, I'd rather it be spacious than super cramped. And uh, the grommets here, well, there are no real grommets. There's actually no grommets. They're just cutouts, which is kind of lame. And then there's this weird cover thing that's held in place by a thumb screw, which you can remove, but it's just a, another empty slot. There's no grommets underneath that as well. So kind of an awkward little uh, cable routing technique there, but uh, whatever, it, it does the job, I suppose. I do like the fact that there's a cutout here with a grommet. This is the only grommet that I can see in the case. Uh, but unfortunately, there's no like there's no little holes in the uh, the basement shroud for like routing your front panel connectors. Luckily, I was able to route them through this this big one here. But there's none. There's one little tiny one for your HD audio in the back there, but uh, not the most convenient. And the the biggest disappointment with this case really, uh, because it's fairly well designed, is the stupid fans. I bought this case because the fans were supposed to light up all nice and bright and glowy from the picture that I saw online, but these, this is the, as bright as it goes. And I don't know if you can tell, but in person, 
they're not very bright at all. In fact, that's why I have the cable mod lighting off right now because with it on, it's so bright. The cable mod strips are so bright, which is a great thing, but it pretty much drowns out the red, the LED on the fans, so you can't even see them very well unless like it's super dim in your room. So um, that's kind of disappointing. Look at this, there's, there's an off, off setting. Okay, it turns them off. Low, high. Low and high are exactly the same. What the hell? That is, that is grade A BS, man. So I'm a little disappointed with that. Maybe there's something we can do with that uh, in part two of this video. Stick around for that. Uh, but hey, first Ryzen build, uh, official Ryzen build of 2017. I'm super stoked. Let me know what you guys think of the build in the comments below. And also feel free to toss me a like on the video. Shit. Wow, I really stopped recording on myself just there. I'm tired, but that's gonna do it for now, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Stick around for part two, where we do a full system analysis of this guy right here. Should be pretty fun with that 1700 and all. And yeah, have yourselves a good day. Did I already say like the video? Ah, uh, you guys already know the drill. Uh, have a good one, guys. I'll see you later. Bye. And nothing comes after bye. It's just bye. Bye.